Hello everybody, welcome in. It's Laura from Tenacious Taurus Twin Flame Tarot and this is going to be the daily message for October the 22nd. Keep in mind, timing and energy is fluid. Not every reading is going to be for you, so please do only take the messages that resonate and leave behind the rest. So this is take two. So I do feel a re-evaluation when it comes to the energies, perhaps rethinking a decision, maybe backpedaling and kind of looking at something for a second time. So that was a message that came through. Um, in the first attempt, the void came out triggering and a catalytic event so i do feel this void energy where you're kind of feeling kind of stuck not really sure um what direction to go in moving forward it's feeling like an evaluation but it also felt like a lot of triggering energy when it comes to a catalytic event in order to kind of get you to reevaluate and maybe take a second look uh, something that was overlooked before so i'm curious to see if those energies come out again but let's jump right in and see what kind of a message needs to be delivered today for the collective. I do believe communication is going to be key. If you haven't yet, do feel free to hit that subscribe button to join the channel. Don't forget to like the videos, comment on, and share them to help the channel grow. And let's jump right in and see what kind of a message needs to come through today, October 22nd, please. What do we need to be aware of when it comes to the collective energies today? Karmic lessons, heightened awareness. So you have been intuitively sensing that a major cycle, I think, is closing out. A major life lesson is being learned when it does stem around perhaps some, some past life karma that is definitely needing to be worked through this life. I do feel a lot of deep familial um, past life wounds are causing a major impact in somebody's life today. And I feel the need to kind of identify any repetitive patterns that have gone through your family lineage in order to fully release them and heal them for the future. Bottom of the deck, intuition. So you do have a gut feeling below the surface that has been tugging at you. You've had a feeling about this when it comes to your intuition and you're really needing to trust your intuition. Don't doubt it because your higher self is in charge right now, I feel, and your higher self truly does know what is best for you. So listen to those incoming messages. I feel there's a lot of messages of significant importance coming through your intuition and I don't know that you've been quite expecting them. I think you're really needing to make, maybe quiet the mind, spend some time in nature, and really listen intently um, to the messages coming through your guides, your angels, and your higher self. And listen intently to the hidden messages that people are saying in and around you. Because I do feel major lessons being learned in the energy today. And this has to do with somebody you are dealing with in order for you to kind of resolve some past life experiences there's there is a very painful lesson that you are needing to work through in order to step into some evolution and some growth i do feel a lot of heightened awareness a lot of extra sensitivity when it comes to the energies and i think deep deep below the surface you've known that it's kind of time to purge and cleanse something because there is a lot of trauma and wounds coming up in the energy that are stemming around repetitive negative patterns within your family within your life so what elements of your life are you needing to purge and cleanse because not everything can remain as you step into the next leg of your journey so you might have to release some negative people some negative behaviors some negative circumstances Either way, there is a need to purge and cleanse your energy because I do believe you are tapping into some psychic abilities. And when we do this, we spend a lot of time in solitude. It's feeling very hermity. So I think somebody here might be awakening to their own intuition, to their own gifts of being able to see, hear, and sense intuitively. And I feel the energy really is pushing for a lot of development, absolutely, because maybe you're supposed to be stepping into a spiritual teaching position. I do believe a teacher of some sort, whether you're the teacher or somebody is your teacher, whatever situation is coming up to be resolved and released, 
has to do with lessons being learned, which you really should consider a gift when it comes to your human experience. So let's see what other messages need to come through, what the influencing energies are when it comes to the sacred activations deck. We'll see what other energies need to come through when it comes to this message today. Okay, we get Divine Masculine out today. <laughs> so maybe there is a Divine Masculine here really mastering some life lessons, releasing a karmic situation in order to kind of restore his sense of passion again. And I feel, yeah, it's kind of soul time is what's coming through. Beautiful, Divine Conception, 16. So there is a Tower energy coming through with that being a 16 card. And I feel the energy really is inviting a divine masculine um, to really tap into his his origin his consciousness and to kind of tap into where all creation begins is what's coming through and the energy and the heightened awareness I feel is helping a divine masculine to remember his infinite potential infinite possibilities and I do feel a lot of manifestation and awareness when it comes to the energy so I do feel a divine masculine coming through today really um supporting you know stepping into power i feel the energy really is supporting this masculine stepping into his strength um regaining a sense of focus really going deep into some negative re repetitive patterns in order to identify the seed point so a masculine can maybe step forward and authentically express himself in the energies i feel a lot of dreams um, coming through to the surface and there is a masculine getting ready to put his ideas into into physical form and to really embrace a lot of kindness and spiritual wisdom I do feel perhaps passion reigniting in the energies and I think below the surface there is a lot of intense emotions coming up that have been hidden from this masculine's insight and I do feel as this comes to the surface and this purging and cleansing process ensues it's going to allow this Divine Masculine to restore a sense of balance and calmness in his life. And I do feel the Divine really is assisting a Masculine um, within this intense chaos and conflict that I feel is kind of in and around this Masculine to understand the core issues. Because as within, so without. So I do feel a Divine Masculine really struggling internally when it comes to learning this lesson, when it comes to diving deep within some pain. And there is going to be a need to kind of void it out, take a step back, um, to allow this new reality to emerge. You kind of have to go into that void in that very protective um, womb energy. And I feel there is a masculine getting ready to embrace um, divine conception, to really set those positive intentions as a masculine here, I think, taps into his psychic abilities um, and tap, tapping into, you know, beyond his mortal life when it comes to the energies. Because the soul truly is timeless, limitless, and infinite. So, I do feel major, major lessons being learned in the energies today. So, let's dig in with some archetype oracles and see what the influencing energies are when it comes to this karmic lesson. When it comes to these wounds. Let's see what else needs to come through when it comes to this energy. I believe in the last reading we got victim mentality. So I feel the need for a masculine to release this self-pity party kind of is what's coming through as well. Um, let's see what we got here. Student. So we have a teacher and we have a student. This is beautiful. I do feel a masculine that was very arrogant in his pursuit in the past. And I feel this destructive behavior and unwillingness to, you know, take action really is bringing forward a level of humility in the energies today in order for a divine masculine to be open to this lifelong spiritual journey and to, and to kind of devote his life to this knowledge that is coming through. Um, I do feel uh, with these energies, okay, we have the hedonist um, archetype, companion, we have the rescuer today and the mystic. So that's not psychic abilities. And I do feel a masculine in the past really did pursue a lot of pleasure to the detriment of his health. So there may be a masculine here struggling with poor health when it comes to overindulgences, especially at the expense of others. 
And I feel the energy really is inspiring a masculine to get creative, to embrace the finer things in life, and to release any codependencies and unhealthy um, addictions in order to kind of free himself. I, feel, I do feel there's a masculine here that, you know, assumes that maybe he's going to be rescued in the energy. I feel there's this very needy codependent energy surrounding a karmic lesson here. And I do feel the guides are kind of giving this masculine strength and support. I feel this crisis energy in and around the masculine that, that maybe he's needing to be rescued. But I feel there's a masculine here that in the past kind of failed to act out of love with no expectation. And I feel a major lesson is being learned. I feel somebody's kind of needing a lifeline thrown to them in the energies. And I do feel there is a loyal companion when it comes to this masculine. There is a loyal feminine energy that has a lot of tenacity and unselfishness in and around her. And I do feel in the past there was a betrayal um, from this masculine by misusing this feminine's confidences. And I feel this in turn really is creating like this loss of personal identity when um, this masculine is going through this crisis today. I feel a lot of delusional rapport in and around a masculine as he kind of taps into this um, intimate union with the divine and quite likely a divine counterpart is what's coming through today. So let's see what needs to come through with the tarot when it comes to this message. And today I am using the cosmic tarot. So we'll see what energies need to come through today. What else do we need to be aware of when it comes to this message today? Three of pentacles in reverse. There's no more working together. I feel there's just no more harmony. And there is going to be a message delivered. The page of swords. Five of swords. Yeah, there's a lot of manipulation in the energy. I feel a lot of gaslighting. A lot of self-deception. I kind of feel like somebody's ready to embrace some change with that five. Wherever they're at, there's no harmony. There's no sense of community. Um, there's no togetherness. And I do feel somebody's getting ready to deliver a message that they're moving in a new direction. The page and the five is six. So I feel somebody's been doing some research, digging a little bit deeper, thinking long and hard about what to do. Because somebody here, I think, has lost all sense of passion in the energy. So let's keep going and see what else needs to come through today when it comes to this message. Pages are messengers, and I feel, once again, a major realignment in the energies today. Seven of Wands reversed. The central energy is the Two of Pentacles in reversed. We also got the Eight of Cups flipped out in reversed, and then we got the Ten of Swords in reverse. So with reversals, it's extremes or an absence, an absence of. There is definitely a need for balance and healing in the energies. I do feel a masculine here that doesn't want to fight anymore. He doesn't want to battle. He's tired of the fighting. He's tired of this. And I feel he really needs to kind of go deep within this wounding. So this can be released once and for all. And I feel there's been a lack of indecision. Twos are all about a choice between two. So there is a decision that is needing to be made. Perhaps there was third party. We go three, two. I feel... Somebody's resisted walking away from a very toxic relationship. I feel there's been a lot of over drinking. There's been a lot of indulgences and um, addictive behaviors. And I feel there's about to be a conscious release when it comes to some past betrayals in order for healing to ensue. I feel somebody here didn't know their worth, didn't know their value, and got caught up with a very karmic feminine energy. I feel it's it's an unrequited love situation. I do feel a major emotional outburst is on the horizon. So get ready for a tower because wherever you're at, it's not working. And the time is now to kind of embrace that growth. Ten of Swords reversed. I feel a lot of spiritual messages coming in. I just feel like somebody here has really lacked speaking that truth coming forward with that message and I think the energy really is demanding um this be released oh my goodness okay yeah we do have two feminines here and there is a solid committed partnership on the bottom of the deck on the horizon I feel and there is a need to kind of gain a new awareness in the energies so 
I do see Pisces. I also see Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Water, Cancer, Pisces. One minute, honey. Sorry, my kids are home again today. Let's talk about this. Okay. I do, I do see two feminines here. I do feel somebody went in the beaten pathway, perhaps got attracted to something that was glittery and shiny. But the Empress in reverse does not know her worth, does not know her value. She quite likely has affairs. She's manipulative. manipulative. She clings to control because um, she, she doesn't know her worth. Um, and I do feel somebody here has kind of been nailed to the ground when it comes to resisting walking away. And I do feel this energy of somebody wanting to come back from a queen, queen of cups that they walked away from that they quite very likely could have betrayed and left out in the cold um, to win at all costs with something that looked really shiny on the surface but was rotten on the inside because the queen of pentacles in reverse... She also doesn't know her value. She has nothing of value to offer. She's not grounded. She's not stable. She probably doesn't even work. She's holding on to control simply out of financial security. And I also feel, you know, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse very likely could have affairs. That's not very loyal energy at all. And this Queen of Cups, I feel, is very intuitive, very loving, still has that cup to offer and I feel somebody is wishing that they could come back from something that they walked away from and I feel maybe they played into some lower ego desires into drinking and addictions to mask their pain and I feel there has been a, a deep level of self-deception here and there is a need to work through this very very painful lesson of betrayal in order to step into this new experience. And I feel there is somebody here experiencing a major crisis and realignment with the two of pentacles in reverse. I feel somebody juggled two options for far too long and now the decision's kind of been stripped and the rug's getting pulled out. And I do feel somebody needs to learn a lesson hardcore today when it does come to solid committed partnerships and bringing healing back into a situation. So tell me about this princess of swords. What is this message about? King of Swords, Truth, The Fool Reversed, Foolish, Magician, Manipulation, Ten of Wands. There's that conscious change. I do feel somebody is getting ready to come back around. Um, the Fool is, you know, somebody I think leaped into something a little bit too quickly. And they got caught up in a lot of, in a lot of um, deceptive energy. And I feel this has really been a heavy burden. And I do feel... Somebody is kind of paying a karmic lesson when it comes to this energy, when it comes to lack of truth, lack of authenticity. I feel the King of Swords has been digging a little bit deeper, trying to figure out how to restore a sense of balance in a connection when it comes to these past life wounds. And I do feel a deep past life connection here. And I think get ready because the King of Swords is going to speak that truth. He's coming forward with that truth, I feel, to kind of say just how foolish he was. There is a new beginning here, and I feel somebody's kind of getting thrown off the ledge in order to, you know, lay down a burden when it comes to mistruths. So tell me about this Queen of Pentacles in reverse, please. Ten of Cups. The sun reversed, seven of pentacles reversed. There's no more growth there. Somebody has been watering a dead tree over and over again. There's no growth. Nothing is going to grow there. It is dark. It is dreary. I think somebody here is pretending to be happy in a committed partnership just for that financial stability. And I feel it's all an act. It's fake. There's a lot of depression here. I don't think there's any financial stability. I think somebody's getting ready to move house. It's time to move. It's time to plant those seeds somewhere else and to go in a new direction because I do see a soulmate reunion on the horizon with the Six of Cups. So tell me more about this Queen of Cups, please. The Tower reversed. This is an unavoidable tower when it comes to... Um, learning a major lesson when it comes to healing past heartbreak, past pain, past trauma. There was a masculine in the past that didn't put in the work. And I feel there is a masculine here that is ready to come out of hiding. I feel there's been a lot of internal reflection when it comes to this lesson. And I also feel a paradigm shift. I feel a masculine here that is struggling with his health very badly, really needing to come forward and express that truth. I think get ready for a huge emotional outpouring 
when it comes to a masculine coming forward, very well could be dealing with a Cancer, a Virgo, I feel Scorpio, Mars energy. Um, I just feel somebody has resisted going into this past life wounds. And I do feel this lesson is being learned in this energy. I feel there's been a lot of negative repetitive patterns stemming all the way back to childhood that are needing to be addressed when it comes to your romantic relationships. There are major negative behaviors that are needing to be purged in order to kind of get you back on track. And I feel somebody has been intuitively feeling this, this energy coming. The Queen of Cups is one of the most intuitive queens in the deck. And I feel this, this is painful to go through this transformation. The Tower is a foundation. I feel there's been a lot of falsities. There's been a lot of fake fakeness in in a connection with the queen of pentacles reverse that you cannot you cannot keep faking it till you make it i feel um this can no longer be avoided this lesson needs to be learned i think truth needs to be brought to the forefront and spoken in order to restore doing what is best for you so i think get ready for a masculine to um express some deep-seated emotions if you are this queen of cups energy because there is a masculine you know restoring his strength finding the courage to release this burden. I think a lot of things are surfacing, especially with this tower reversed. For me as well, the hermit reverse is somebody's coming out of hiding, getting ready to bring that truth forward. And I also feel this is gonna happen and you're not even gonna feel it coming. It's gonna happen so fast, like a towering moment. And I also feel like somebody very well could be struggling with some health issues because you know, the body is also a foundation, and I feel some heart issues. I'm feeling a lot of heart um, heartburn at the moment. So I think it's time to heal the past when it comes to some deception, when it comes to some betrayal. I do see victory is to be had here after a period of sorrow, after a period of a lot of chaos and conflict, and there will be healing, but there is the need to speak some truth when it comes to some deception, when it comes to um, some lies of the past, and I feel somebody here lacked the courage to go forward, and, and they're getting ready to take that action, so... Let's just dig a little bit more into this Hanged Man energy. Five of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune reverse, Two of Swords reverse, Nine of Swords. So, yeah, there's been a lot of stress and anxiety when it comes to this truth. I feel there has been an extended period of prolonged grieving in an unhealthy connection that really hasn't brought a lot of satisfaction. And I feel somebody, you know, has been experiencing a lot of misfortune in order for some some blocks to get removed so i think uh get ready there is going to be a final judgment call made in the energies today i do feel there was a period of ghosting there is somebody getting ready to return from the past to face that final judgment when it comes to a soulmate decision and i think get ready for a divine masculine to take action and to speak some truth is what's coming through because there is divine conception at play today so let's get a couple stone deck messages and see what else needs to come through i feel in the past there was an unwillingness to take that action and i feel there is a masculine experiencing um, a lot of humility in the energies when it comes to this ending when it comes to this exposure and i feel somebody here is really getting ready to open up to this spiritual journey to close out a cycle where I feel there's been a lot of resistance. I feel a masculine keeping his foot stuck in the wheel, preventing himself from moving forward. And it's time to bring that focused awareness into that purest intention to bring a deep level of healing forward. Okay, bottom of the deck today, guys, we have Lepidolite. Beautiful. Enter your chill zone. So you might need to take a step back. After you learn a very painful karmic lesson, we also have diamonds. So that diamond energy too, we don't get all glittery and shiny. A diamond doesn't shine beautiful without going through a lot of grit, a lot of pressure. So I feel the energy really is intensifying with a lot of pressure in order to get somebody to see through the darkness, to see through the illusion. And I feel um, there's been a lot of focus on material security in the past, but I feel it's time to get back into basking in the light. It's time to get back into the energy of love. And I feel somebody has gone icy in the past, really cold, ghost cold. And there's somebody getting ready to make those intentions perfectly clear, 
to come through with a deep level of um, of commitment is what's coming through. Somebody wants that higher level of commitment, I feel. So go into that meditative energy. I think freaking out is only going to intensify the energies, especially when it comes to any triggering coming up. So, you know, maybe it's time to kind of just put the phone down, disconnect, and go within as, as you prepare for... Um, this release i think there is somebody having a struggle when it comes to releasing a lot of chaos and drama in and around them and i think um this queen of cups has kind of just turned her back because it was never her issue to begin with is also what i'm feeling so i do feel a lot of resentment in the energy when it comes to somebody breaking free and i feel a lot of vulnerability get ready for somebody to be judged and be openly vulnerable with their emotions this masculine I feel there's a masculine that's kind of been um, held back when it comes to this lesson I do feel um Saturn energy coming through like that strict teaching energy when it comes to what really resides deep within the soul what really has been holding you back from stepping into this new experience if you are this masculine I feel when you hold back you're doing more damage than anything and I do feel a period of prolonged grieving absolutely with that hanged man self-punishment martyrdom somebody playing the victim over and over again this recurring pattern and I feel it's an important lesson coming to the surface in order for you to step into this new experience we have bearite we have aventurine and tiger's eye so that's that powering up balancing your energy your entire being mind body and soul and I feel answers are coming if you have been seeking those answers. I feel somebody's getting ready to make that phone call. It is this energy of time is of the essence. I feel there's no need to keep sifting through um, this mental chatter with the Nine of Swords. It kind of really is time to just act. Unearth that energy and just act with pure intentions is what's coming through. So get ready for that phone call. And I do think everything is going to be amazing. There is going to be success on the horizon after somebody breaks free from this very suspicious energy in and around them i feel somebody really is getting ready to step into their true destiny and although it is terrifying um i really don't feel like there's any alternative in the energy i feel this is pushed by the divine um to step into this calling to step into this new adventure of being being a student for life a teacher and a student so I think this heart-centered energy is washing over somebody, and I don't think they're going to be able to contain their emotions very easily. I do feel and see like a lot of a lot of tears in the energy. So I feel get ready to encounter a deep soulmate connection coming up once all of these blocks are removed. There is a divine masculine getting ready to like get himself out of the gutter is what's coming through and to find his confidence while going through a major life lesson and some major crisis so it's kind of time to wake it up clean it up and um get your shine back on and i do feel um there's a lot of mood swings in the energy so get ready for a lot of reflecting as well when it comes to the past i feel this is going to be a very emotional time as um a divine connection kind of makes it even with the universe and balances some scales i think get ready for somebody to attempt to restore a sense of balance and to ask for some forgiveness in the energies and that's what i have for the message today i hope this resonated if it did and you would like to book a personal reading please feel free to check out the information box below i will see you all again next time